Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick swatch video for some new J-Cat Beauty products. This is the Aura Glow Liquid Highlighters. These are online only available through Ulta. And if you haven't checked out my previous J-Cat brand video for some of their holographic items, I will link that here for you. Please go check that out. There are some really fantastic, very affordable products there. And I'm hoping that these are on the same lines of being very affordable and fantastic. They, like I said, are available through Ulta and they retail for $8.99 each. JCat describes these as instantly creating a glow that is designed to complement all skin tones and all skin types. You can mix it into your favorite primer, foundation, or moisturizer to add illumination. You can also customize the tone by mixing two or more of them. It says the smooth application blends effortlessly and gives the perfect hydrated, luminous finish that completes your look. So if you want to see how all of these colors swatch, there are six of them that are available and I will swatch all of them for you. Stay tuned. Please also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. And as always, a link in the description box below to where you can purchase these if you want to and also a link to the blog sale if you want to purchase anything through there. All right, let's get looking at and swatching the J-Cat Beauty Aura Glow Liquid Highlighters. So the first shade here is Crystal Sand. Second is Pink Goddess. Third is Bella Rose. Fourth is Moonlight. Fifth is White Goddess. And sixth is Twilight. All right, let's swatch Crystal Sand. This is a really frosty, super pale, silvery pink. A metallic finish. Pink Goddess. And this is a deep bronze with gold shimmer particles, or glitter particles. Bella Rose. And this looks like a pinky Violet. It looked like it would be duochrome in the tube. I bet there is a little bit of duochrome-ness to it, but it doesn't really come off on the skin there. Moonlight. And this is a kind of like a champagne, really pale copper, metallic finish. White Goddess a actually like a cream frosty white it has a slight tint of gold to it and twilight which is a metallic copper all right so there are your six shades up close they have very good color to them, so it seems like if you want to mix these in to a base, then you're going to have to use very little product. And alternatively, if you wanted to use them as a straight up liquid highlighter, then you are going to be able to get a lot of color out of them. Now, I will say that in terms of texture, I think the least uh, impressive one is Pink Goddess because it has noticeable glitter particles in there so it would be extremely hard to use this mixed in with a base. The runner-up in terms of least impressive I think would have to be Bella Rose but only because it's not as fluid in terms of the finish and being metallic so if actually you wanted to mix this in with the base that might work uh, actually better than the rest of these, but if you were trying to use this as a liquid highlighter, I think that might be a little problematic. And then the rest of the shades here have a really smooth metallic texture. They're very refined, so I think the formula on those is impressive. All right, there you go with J-Cat's Aura Glow Liquid Highlighters. At $9 each, these are very affordable. You get a lot of product. You get 15 milliliters, which is half an ounce. That will last you for a very long time. So again, a nice affordable product from J-Cat Beauty. 
I wouldn't say all of them are across the board fantastic, but they do seem pretty impressive. So in the comments below, if you've used these and tested them out already, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you want to know more of my thorough uh, review process and my thoughts after I've tested these out, stay tuned for March's What's New in Beauty video, and I'll give you a rundown on how these tested. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you if you were interested in purchasing this. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.